Welcome back. And now let, let's discuss uh, some logs that uh, uh, produce in a software and some logs produce in the software side and other logs are produced on uh, as, uh, biometric machines. So how we can optimize and uh, make the biometric and software performance uh, in, um, more smooth and to increase that performance, we have to manage at uh, some stages the, to delete the logs so that we can perform a uh, smooth working in our software as well as a bio machine so can work properly. So we are now dealing are uh, deleting some logs. What kind of logs that we will go to delete? So let's jump and see. So first one is the device AC log that is accounts log. It, these logs are uh, biometric attendance logs, the transaction log, check-in and check-out, and all the other transaction related to uh, marking of attendance. So when these logs are generated, uh, one employee create two logs, check-in and check-out on one day. Because, so if you have a small organization, so it is not a big deal that you can prolong your logs as much as you can so depend on biometric machine which model that you are using and it depends on the capacity of the transaction so that biometric can access very easily so this model that we are discussing is a one uh, i 702 and uh, tx686 and the capacity of the this biometric machine is um, almost 100,000 and 120,000. So 120, yes, 120,000. So when these logs become, uh, as you the employee make a two transaction each day. So if you have a small business, 100, 200, 300, 500 employees, you can see that the transaction logs of 1,000 and 1,500. So if you have a 1,000, more than 1,000 employees and daily the transaction uh, making are 2,000, 3,000 transaction. So when the transaction becomes a 10,000, 20,000, are more than you when you access your biometric machine in a software so it will take time that you connect and it will take time to read data in a biometric machine and to render that data in your software so we have to delete some uh, it make your practice whenever you delete but make it when uh, after uh, the beginning of the new month and the ending of the month so that the your hr department can collect the data or make sure you pick, take the data backup in Excel or other format file so you not worry to why the logs that are not appearing. So it's a best practice that uh, we sh uh, should be take backup of an Excel file of all our tennis log. Otherwise, or uh, when your logs is create, your peer attendance is forward to HR department. So you are go good to go to delete that log on the specific day because it's not a specific time period that uh, you have um, go to uh, go and software tell the software that from that time period for the one mm, so one from one to 30 start one to 20 you are going to delete that log now it will delete all logs that are currently on biometric machine on current date so make your data backup uh, attendance log, then you delete this log, account log. The other one is device OP log. These are the operational logs which are you are do in your software and uh, in biometric machine. So when I perform any activity, suppose I add a device or upload a picture to a biometric machine or a advertisement picture that we have seen in a previous video. So did this software will create a logs and who will create that activity on a software? It will manage it. So if you have a med admin and super admin or a manager roles that you have defined in your software, so the log, whatever activity they perform in the software or biometric machine, so the log will be, operation log will be generated. And after, so you have to delete all these logs at some stage to smooth working of your software. 
So system update log is the same as uh, the device log that you have activity on a biometric machine. So it, these are the same. This will be in a software uh, system update log. So let's jump to our software and see and how we can do. So you can see, let's discuss first our account log and six, four, eight transaction has been done on this machine and 541, 469. So this logs are recently deleted I, in machine is so today is 12 and 12th of December. So therefore this log is now clear. So if you, when this log become a 7,000, 10,000 or 50,000, then you click on and uh, this select the device and when you download attendance log, it will take time. And so from that reason, we have to do this. So click on select your device machine and simply delete account log. All the log will be deleted and your machine become refreshed. Remember that it will not affect any your user privileges, it just will delete the logs. And if you do not mm, want to still delete the logs, so collect your devices, device and import attendance checking data so you can import uh, export checking data simply type the file name and we will see in when we discuss this module you name the file name and you will go to go to export your data so you can you um, export a single individual user or all the data that you send so we will check it export and import the data so delete account log and when you uh, other activities on that your biometric machine any user perform maybe uh, uh, your manager of biometric machine or super user perform and uh, add a user on biometric machine so these logs will be created on biometric machine and if you, any activity on biometric performed by the user that have the privileges to do that so their log will be generated on device so you can delete operation log as well from there so i will show you the now the system operation logs what they are and you can see the best um, thing that you can learn what are the, these logs are so search and print go to system operator log and this pop-up window will show you the every activity that is performed now in their software so you can check ID, it's a event ID that each event action are performed in the software it will generate an ID and operator is now all custom or temporary supervisor are now, now not just add an administrator of that software. So this is a temporary supervisor. If you have an ad administrator or super user, so it will name that administrator or super user. So day time, and recently you have seen uh, we have export account data so the recently action that we have just created it will generate the operation and system operation log before that system operate log and system operate log before in the previous video we have uploaded advertisement picture you can see the log is generated and sync time before that video we have syncing over time all the logs are generated so you can see these are the, it's not the automatically uh, deletion you can delete all the logs so you have to check your date which from date you want to select it so all the days data will be see you can see it's 12 7 and you can go what the date back to date so you can select all the things and delete it so if you have a very uh, sensitive environment where you can manage that what activity on the software is going on if something going wrong with your software or some uh, any other it's it may be uh, you are working in a shift environment where you have to talk, um, your subordinate or the immediate boss do something at that you, you are gonna risk with you so it's very important that you can export your all activities on software so this report will be exported you can export it on selecting the export list and id operator data and all the fields are brought so name it operation logs 
operation logs and it will be export define your please path give the right path i'm going to go to on the desktop operations operation logs okay save it the file is you can see file data have been successfully exported to okay and let's close down and i will show you the file So it is on a desktop operation logs. Here, this is the file that is generated and it is an Excel file. And let me show you the file. So this file is now exported. So you can take it and have it for reference use for you can uh, any uh, dangers, uh, move, uh, danger to prevent yourself from a dangerous situation. So you can see export account data we have saved, just created. Okay. And let's remove it. So uh, these the logs that we have discussed. So now let's have a, okay. See you in the next video and have a good day.